What's going on, guys? We're back with MLB 23, Game 3 against the Angels. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Los Angeles Angels going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two, and regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so... We should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. First pitch moments away. And towing the slab in this one, Mitch Keller. What should we keep an eye on here? Really labored his last time out. Four plus innings, wasn't able to qualify for the win, but fortunately got a no decision and didn't take a loss. We'll see if he can get in the W column today. All right, ready to get underway. So in now for the Angels, Tyler Wade. Bowl in one now. Check swing, no appeal. Ooh. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base Damn hit. It. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. David Fletcher stands in now and watches strike one. The next offering misses. Now one and two. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. And now the count is even. And a pitch. And a base hit into right center field. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back to back singles. I'll tell you. Man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. And that one fouled off. Next offering misses. One and two to count. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The one two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for. A bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. Two on, one out. Next to hit, Brandon Drury. High fly ball out towards left field. McCutcheon raging back towards the wall. Back some more. On the warning track and hauls it in. McCutcheon returns it to the infield as the go-ahead runner pulls up at third. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. Pitch is in for a strike. It's 0-1. Runners on first and third, two away. And it's even up. And a strike. Swing and the ball. Huge strike out there. 
Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Back here at PNC Park. And starting in this one, Reed Detmers. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo. Don't... Oh, this one high and deep. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. It's 14th of the year, and they jump out front. It's 1 0. Clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. That one fouled off. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The 0-1. Outside. Right, Singy Reed Detmers, 10th overall pick in the 2020 draft. You're talking about a guy who was a really good player at Louisville, and in his rookie year, he authored a no hitter. Come on, coach. The wind of the pitch. In the dirt. Gathers and throws to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. Brian Reynolds here, third in the NL in RBIs this year. And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, and in that rookie year with the nasty curveball, struck out 122 in 129 innings pitch. That's almost a strikeout per inning. An Illinois kid, but he grew up a Cardinals fan. When he was 11, the Cardinals won the 2011 World Series, and that's when he became a diehard Redbirds fan. And takes low for ball one. On the ground at first, Shit. it's hey. over a hit. So a man aboard now with one. Way to go, B Ray. Good job of just putting the ball that in play with two strikes. That pretty that. much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you gotta make them pay. Here's Joey Bart now. First offering, runner goes. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second. Great jump. Swings and misses. No balls, two strikes. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. There's a ball. Throw. Save. That's a stolen base. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. That misses. Two balls, two, two strikes. Balls, two strikes. Reynolds stands at third with one gone in the inning. And a swing and a miss. Now two out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And that's right to the left. Big hit. In to score is the runner from third. It's 2-0. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Runner at first with two away. No, Jack Sawinski, the next to hit. Off the mark there. Ball one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or a run and hit. Next offering is in for a strike. And yeah, that's outside. The 2-1. 
And now two and two. Well, it looks like he just got out of himself a little bit right there. He's looking for a ball in, and to attack that pitch looked like a half-hearted swing. Run around the goal. Pitch misses. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Two outs is a great time to try to steal second, especially when you have a guy with some wheels on first. Defense probably knew it was coming, but figured we better focus on trying to get this hitter out. I don't think he really wanted the pitch to him right there anyhow. <laughs> Two gone with runners at the corners. And now Come on, Rowdy. Rowdy Telez. Homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Runner on the goal. And first offering is fouled off. Two on, two outs. And a curve misses outside. Corners are occupied with two down. Smoked on the ground a second. Fletcher fires over to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We head to the second from PNC Park. It's... Welcome back. New inning getting started. And now here's the veteran DH, Gio Urshela. Keller back to work. That's a little bit low. That's through there for a strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. Slings it across oh, and boy. quickly one away in the second. And now the catcher comes up to him. Yeah, Kevin Roher. Roher. Homered last night, added another hit as well. And the first yeah, pitch misses right for ball one. Inside just missed. The 2 is in for a strike. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still oh, impressive oh, to watch. Shit. Yeah, there's ball four. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Hey. Rob Ref Snyder in the box now. No balls and a strike. The next pitch misses at one and one. Right into the plate. In there. And so now one and two. And there's the ball. Roher at first, one gone. Swings through the strike. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Out to short. They get the force. That ends the frame. Angels strand one. They trail it here, 2-0. Back here in Pittsburgh, ready to go for the last half of the inning. To the plate now for Pittsburgh is the DH, G1 Bay. The why to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. I think he was sitting off speed there. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Chance to collect himself now as he asks for time. Next pitch is outside. It's a good take. Just missed the inside corner. Two balls, two strikes. The wind and the pitch. That one the other way, takes it in for the out. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. A 
Malika Williams in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Way inside, gets out of the way. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. Pitch is in there, and oh. it's 2 and 1 now. Slice down the right side. And the pitch. Base hit, left center field. There we go, Williams, good hit. Now he turns and heads for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice line drive to the pole side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now batting key Brian Hayes. Homer to lead off the ball game. First pitch, and he just misses. One out and a runner at second. That clips the inside corner for a strike. There we go. Williams around third. He scores, and they're up by three. Way to go, hey. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Man at second with one away. Stepping in the long ball threat, Andrew McCutcheon. On the ground, right side, ah. and that one finds its way through. Drury fires it to the plate. The run comes right in from second, well, and it's good four hustle, hey. oh, No waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. McCutcheon on the move. Pitch four misses up. inside. Throw to second, and great jump. McCutcheon, the runner at second with one away. And that one fouled off. Runner leads away at second. Out towards right center field. Drury on the move. Nice grab on the run. And there's two down. This is Joey Bart. Went down 14. on strikes his first time through. He's going, he's Here's the going. pitch. Runner on the move. Lifted in the air right center field. Drury on a dead sprint. Can't oh. get their base hit. They extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's 5-0. I was watching his oh, rounds during gosh. batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Tyler Anderson takes over on the mound. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. Cruz in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. That's inside. Two balls, no strikes to count. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Anderson ready to work. Now this is in the air down the line. Number 95 gliding to his right. Makes the grab, tracks it down after the long run. Put some runs that on the board, is the though. inning. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and one left on. We play two full. It's the Pirates five and the Angels nothing. Back here at the ballpark, now batting Tyler Wade. The shortstop, Tyler Wade. The pitch. Wade, 29 years old. He's been scoring a lot of runs lately. 
He scored nine times in the last ten games. Oh. That misses, and now two and zero. Oh. Swings and crushes one Shoot. right field, way back and gone. You see how he stays square to the plate. He takes a breaking ball that's away, gets around it, gets it up in the air, and hits a long home run. Not exactly the way that you teach it in the cage, but you'll take the result. Hot shot to third. Sends it to first, and that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. And now batting Mike Trout. Struck out swinging his first time. Pulls that one foul. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Oh, and two now. Liner, base hit. Up next for the Angels. One gone runner right at first. Field. Brandon Drury to the plate. Ooh. And he hits a ground ball right side. And oh. he takes it himself for the out. Goes to second. Uh. Safe there. Now it's Anthony Rendon. His first at bat was a strikeout. Ball oh, one, no fly. strikes. Just Don't missed. Oh, what? Much more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. And misses inside. Fouls one away and now three and two. Two outs and one in scoring position. Right hander nope. gives up the two oh, out. Oh, bullshit. Man, dude. that's a tough one to take on the full count, but bullshit. I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Urshela swings through oh, that gosh, one now. as he comes to the plate for the second time today. Strike two. Spin rate's oh, outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. Right through there, oh, dude. Good job at damage control right there. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely. Bottom of the inning, leading off Jack Sawinski. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Going one. Sawinski, an all star a season ago, batting sixth in today's lineup. Usually in left, but today he's starting in right field. The wind of the pitch. Well, the big play, in my opinion, from right field is that throw from right field to third base. Longest one in the game, and you got to have a pretty strong arm. Hopefully, he can play that one hop nicely if he has an opportunity to throw out a runner. Left-hand batter waits. Okay. Full count pitch. He'll have to wait. Time called to the plate. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Tracks it down for the out. And there's one away. Here's Rowdy Telez. Grounded out his first time. Foul ball there. Shit. Get out of there. Get out of there. And there's a curve through for a strike. Well, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Way out in front of that inside pitch there, and just exactly the opposite kind of approach that you want oh, with two shit, strikes. You bro. want to travel. Make sure you recognize it. Try to shorten up so that you can at least put the ball in play. Clearly fooled, but I think even more so, you question the two-strike approach. 
The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Come on, dude. Throw something. Quit digging around. Kicks and deals. Got him looking. That's Bullshit, a strikeout. Dude, it's Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh. The They're play. on 5 1. And welcome back. Right, Start of the right. fourth. Here's the catcher, Kevin Roher. And that is in for a strike. And it's 0 1. And then misses off the outside edge. Here's a 1 1. Swings through that one for strike two. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. Next offering upstairs. And the righty deals. Up and in, and it's three and two. Goes down low. There it is. Rob Ref Snyder, the next to hit for the Angels. In there for strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Next one misses. Now one and two. Swing and a miss. There it is. Took him out. He notches strikeout number 150 this season. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Number 95, the next to hit, takes ball one. And a rope into center field, base hit. Not stop, Reynolds. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. Hey. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Oh, and he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. On the mound, you take a note. You see the hitter's willingness to chase that pitch upstairs. Get deeper in the count. Try to climb the ladder. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. On the ground to third. That's out number three. Out. Angels leave one. They're down there here five to one. Back here at PNC Park. Bottom floor at the plate for Pittsburgh. Alika Williams. Anderson back to work. Ball one there. Anderson, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a changeup, a cutter, a sinker, and he occasionally uses a curve. The wind to kick the 2-0. He swings and fouls one off. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Swings and misses, struck him out. And now the Pirates leadoff man, Key Brian Hayes. He's already homered here in this one. Ripped on the ground a second. Fletcher fires over to first. Already two gone here in the home floor. Two outs, base is empty. Andrew McCutcheon, the next Pirate to hit. And there's the strike. Well, this is the type of hitter you want up in this situation. Some sluggers coming up behind him. He's so good at moving runners, but also getting on base. See if he can be patient here. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Gets it there in time, though, and they come away with an out. 
Welcome back. Top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, David Fletcher. On the ground, right side. And foul ball. You know, these Angels finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. That's ball off the mark, and that one is ball, ball one. And you got to give some credit to the other side as well. They've been able to get out of a few tough jams, but frustration is mounting for this offense, no doubt. Sawinski makes the catch, and there's one down. The center fielder, number 27, Mike. Here's Trout. Mike Trout. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. And the right hander deals. Just missed. At 30 years old, Mike Trout, 1,000 runs, 300 homers, 200 stolen bases. The only other players in Major League history with those numbers Bullshit. at that age, A Rod and Willie Mays. Swing and a miss. And out two and two. Boom. That's cheddar, baby. And now the count filled up three and two. Swing and a miss. Ah. And he got him. Now two away. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power <laughs> curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swinging strikeout. And the 0-1. Out in front and foul to the left side. Got him. And come high. There is a one, two, three. Angels held in check. They're down 5 1. Back here in Pittsburgh, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the power speed combo. Brian Reynolds. And the pitch is outside, ball one. You know, these Pirates really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. Next offering is in for a strike. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Bart now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Well, he threw that fastball right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up for later in this at bat? Next pitch in the dirt, and it's one and two. Timeout asked for and given at the plate now. Fouls it off, still one and two. Connect on the curveball struck him out. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. He's there to make the catch at third, and the... And welcome back. Here's the third. Baseman Anthony Rendon and a pitch. 
And first offering is fouled off. And it's fouled away. Nope, and one and two. Ball. One ball, two strikes. Kicks and fires. Swing and a Some hot he's down on strikes. One out. Well, I've always said it's tough. A an elevated fastball you see so well, hard to lay off of. Well, when you're talking about 100 miles per hour, chances of catching up are next to none. So you see that one just blown right by him. I think you're going to have to start a lot earlier if you're going to catch up to that speed. Urshela in the box with one away as he takes ball one. There's a strike. Well, you can't really adjust one, your one. game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Out number two. Oh, Here's the Angels catcher, Kevin Roher. A strikeout and a walk. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, and one. Roher in his rookie season, only 18 years old. And he's been touching home plate quite a bit lately, scoring eight runs over the last 10 games. McCutcheon oh, makes the catch, that. and that's the inning. Nothing doing here this half. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Pirates five and the Angels one. Well, we go bottom six at the plate for Pittsburgh. Jack Sawinski. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? <laughs> yeah, he's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. Close, but call the ball. Now two, two balls, balls and a strike. Fouled off. He was late. In the dirt. Tosses to first. Try. Away, bottom of the well, I'm swinging at it. Really love the pitch right sequence there. right there. I'm telling you what. Pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. And now it's Rowdy Telez. Struck out on just three pitches last time. And first offering is fouled off. Telez measures six feet, four inches, 255 pounds, and they traded for him earlier this year. Owen oh, 2 as he waves at that one. Sharp grounder. There we go, Rowdy. Base hit. Good hit. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Once you get the ball no by the pitcher, no, 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 there's a no, lot of base hits up the middle, hitter. even on ground balls. So a nice job yeah. to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Going to one. Telez leads off first with one away. Swing and a pop up in foul oh, ground. Shit. Rendon calls it in two away. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync. And the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. Hit in the air, right field. And it falls. Oh, gosh. Throw in holds the lead okay. runner at second. But two on it. now with two away. Waste no time there. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with guys trying to launch and hit home runs, but sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. This to third. Fires across the diamond. Inning over. Pirates strand a couple. They lead this one. Top of inning number seven. And here's the first baseman, Rob Refsnyder. Keller back to work. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. 
Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come, but you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan yeah. against him. Good Throw over to Telez. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. The bat. And next for the Angels, Rice. number 95. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. Oh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And a foul ball. Gonna count one and two. 99 pitches about to throw his 100th here in the seventh inning. This is where you really start looking for any signs of fatigue. Shoots a line drive single into right center. Tyler Wade, the next to hit for the Angels. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. The 0 2. Ground ball could be two. Flips to second, and it's a double play to end the inning. Awesome double play. Starting to run out of outs as they're unable to chip away. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Pirates five, and the Angels one. They turn things over to the southpaw, Kai Bush. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Now pitching for the pitch. McCutcheon, the leadoff batter as he swings through it for strike one. Bullpen activity starting up now. Jaime Berea getting loose out there. Moore getting cranked up as well. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 and 2 now. Come on, Dutch. Upstairs. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Tosses across <laughs> the first and one away in the bottom of the seventh. Brian Reynolds, the next pirate to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, at bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0 and 2. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. That missed one inside. Ball. And that's ball one. Off the oh, outside the edge, and now the count is two and two. One down, base is empty. Got it by him for the K. Garbage, man. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Joey Bart, one for three. Swings through that one. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Up the middle. There we go, Bart. Dives, but he kicks off his glove. He doesn't ah, have a play, lovely. and they don't get the out. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of Come results on, he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Shorten up the swing and went right back up the middle. Here's O'Neill Cruz. First offering misses badly for ball one. The pitch. Hey. Bullshit. And a big swing and a miss. One thing on his mind right there with that swing. He's trying to go deep. Time called. Hard on the ground to first. Ref oh. Snyder steps on the bag, and that is that.
back here at PNC Park. Here's David Fletcher. The second base. Keller still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. The next offering misses. And now it's even one and one. Is there a debate to be had about shutting him down, maybe to preserve some bullets given the score? Absolutely. When you consider over the course of a long season, guys putting a lot Good of stress hustle, on, that elbow, Way to go. on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of a hand of a guy like this because. Like, wow. Because he's so competitive. Trout batting with one down takes a strike. And strike two. Field two. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the liner for the K. Came after him with the fastball on 0-2, and that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitch. is all about he's got the stuff obviously and right there he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches that's ripped base hit really good swing right there he got a pitch that he knew he could handle allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer and he hit the ball on the screws a one down that one missing inside That just misses, and it's two and one. Drury leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering is down low, and the count is three and one. There's a strike. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Out to short. On the run, throw oh. first. Third oh. out. Bobbling the ball around, throw it. Back here at the ballpark, on to the bottom of the eighth, at the plate for Pittsburgh, Jack Sawinski. And here it comes. Come on, Jack. Check swing went around. 0 oh, and 2. Oh, sure. Got him swinging. <laughs> Up next for the Pirates, Rowdy Telez. And he grounds one back nah, up the middle. Shit. Tosses Ooh, the I first. Know. And a couple <laughs> of quick outs. Two outs, base is empty. G1 Bay getting ready to hit. That one off the bad part of the bat. Just a lazy fly ball. He's got it. And that is out okay. number three. Shut this down right here. David Bednar will take over here. And this is appearance number 45. Here's Gio Urshela. And the pitch. Bednar, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a curb, and occasionally works in a splitter. Next offering is in for a strike. Bows that off to the left, and will do it again. Here comes a pitch. And that one missing low. One ball, two strikes. Here's a swing and a drive oh, left field, and he knew it. Most times it's the pitcher looking at the scoreboard for velocity, well, but in this case, it's the hitter. He just turned around triple digits at the dish. I don't even know how he saw that pitch. Maybe he didn't, but he got a home run out of it. Steps on first for the out. Two more, two more. Quick out. Rob Refsnyder, the next to hit for the Angels. 
And that one ripped into right. Puts the squeeze on it. And oh, it's two down. God, God. One more. Number 95, the next to hit for the Angels. That's in there. That's strike one. All ones account. Hard hit, right side. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. Way to go, guys. Well, these guys just want to keep it rolling right now. You win this series. You got another team coming in. And you want to do exactly the same. Maybe even push a little further. Get yourself a sweep. You know the fans are going to be behind this club. Yeah, that last They're playing really well on these guys. You can tell they feel the energy these fans bring to the ballpark. And your final yeah. score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. Anyway, I, got, I hope you guys had a wonderful evening. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we will catch you for game one against the Marlins.